Hello everyone. TJAT here, and I'm making the next Pokemon video. Last time, I showed off the brand new Pokemon of the Sea, and some interesting bug types. Today is all about the air and grass Pokemon, and a surprise water Pokemon along with them. Can you guess who it is? This Brazil-inspired region is called Sumran, which is basically South American squished together. Our Pokédex currently has 8 registered Pokémon, so let's continue to explore the region. I'd say that about now, we're around the Sumran Forest. In here we can find two Pokémon based on the Brazilian bird, the Mannequin. The Pokémon we found are Marikin and Imaniquil. Marikin is a small circular mannequin, and that's basically how all of these types of birds are. This Pokemon is specifically based on the white-bearded mannequin, which look adorable, so I had to make it into a bird Pokemon. Look how small and round they are. Marikin's name is a combination of mannequin and American, since we are in South America after all, and it's simply shortened to, Marikin, for Marikin's name. So put together, and its name is basically, American Mannequin. Even though it's called Marikin, there really isn't much American about it. It's simply the Summerin's regional bird. Better yet, if you really like this little guy and want to spend a lot of time with it, you're in luck. It evolves at level 20, and you mainly find this Pokemon at level 8 to 10. So, since we have to wait to evolve Marikin, let's move on to the next Pokemon. Here is Ligastaw, a little plant-type Pokemon based on the lobster claw plant typically found in forests. Its actual claws are replaced with the plant versions, and it mostly retains its same color throughout. Its name is Lagasta, aka Lobster in Portuguese, and a W at the end of it so it becomes claw. I bet you can guess its type? You might think it's a water grass type, but no, it's pure grass. Lagastaw typically do not enjoy the water, so it's just a land lobster, if that's a thing. Lagastaw are small, and let me point it out, they are very fast. That means they're easy to lose, and they're great at evasion and dodging. They sadly don't evolve, but this Pokemon's still pretty cool already. Next, let's see the very first evolution, Buddion. Its name is straightforward, it's Bud and Ian. This Pokemon is hard to spot in forests. I mean, look at it, it's just a bush. Well it's actually smooth fur that's green, that's not exactly the same, but I guarantee you wouldn't see this evolution if you're not looking for it. Bud Dion even take berries and decorate their fur to disguise even more. They're shy Pokemon after all. People try really hard to catch them because they're evolutions of the infamous Yuva. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Unfortunately, I can't continue this series until my drawing tablet is fixed, which may take a bit. Anyway, you can like and subscribe if you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time.